for each and every one of you. Hear that? Come on, what is about those time, man? You see, Christianity is not just about going to church. It is about us to be on the field and have some fun up here as well. Amen? So, let's come out and have some fun. Oh, you have to find a way to run? You have to come tomorrow and find out. You have to come tomorrow and find out. Alright, just one more thing. We have had two newlyweds in our midst since this month. This month has been a blessed month for this church with two persons getting married. Um, one of the couple is not here today, but they will still, you can still give them a call. It is our sister Trina Lewis who got married. Um, last week I believe it was that Trina got married. Um, and so she's still having fun. Yes, she's not here today. But feel free to call her and to congratulate her um, as well as her husband. And then at the very beginning of the month, we also have had another wedding. Um, and that is my son, Kareem. At the beginning of the month, so my new daughter, Janelle. <laughs> so we want to, we want to, they're sitting in the front here, and so we want to congratulate them. And you can congratulate them on the church as well. Amen. Amen. Praise God. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Let's go to the message. Hey, you don't know what's nice to feel. You know, this one has been special for me. Because one, I get to marry three sisters. Cesare, Shelly, and Brina. Very special. And then to top it all off, I get to wear my son. Priceless, priceless, priceless. Praise God, praise God. First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 12 to 22. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 12 to 22 is our focus for today. For this life, 
We have hope in Christ. We are of all evil most to be pitied. But Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. This is the word of the Lord. As we take time this morning, Lord, to celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Let it be a watershed moment for us, Lord. Pause, Lord God, that as we contemplate, as we reflect, as we give it serious consideration, that we ourselves will be resurrected in you. Recorded that 
Jesus Christ. The very structure of our Christian faith would fall apart and our gospel would be useless. If Christ has not been raised from the dead, then what I am doing right now would be pointless. It would make no sense. Thank you. 
His wife comes to him and says, Turn up after Jesus resurrected.
means if for this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of people most to be favored. Now please understand that when Paul wrote this at the time, it was a dangerous thing to profess your faith publicly. Please understand.
hear the word of God. Lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust corrupts and where thieves do not break in and steal. I want to tell somebody today, whether you're on the Zoom or you're inside here, I want to tell you today that earthly things will lose its importance. Jesus Christ, you too can experience newness of life, you too can be 
is worthy of celebration because of what Jesus Christ has done or what God has done through Jesus Christ. But it can also be worthy of celebration if you choose to surrender your life to Him on this resurrection Sunday. What a celebration that will be. Get out of the The enemy is always going to be tried. And those of us who are Christians know that. Satan always will come after me. And the man will not fling some kind of come after me if you blow me up. But we're not afraid of him. Hallelujah. We have been exposed to the resurrected power of
because he knows that Jesus conquered death. That first Easter morning when Mary and her sister went uh, to the tomb, what they found on that day was that Jesus uh, knocked on both ends of the grave and Jesus transformed death uh, from a dead street uh, to a Jesus, my Savior. Finally, he said, 